Read right now. What does it mean to be green? By Rana de Orio, illustrated by Chris Blair. What does it mean to be green? Does it mean being good with plants? No. Does it mean feeling sick in the car? No. Does it mean looking like a frog or a pickle or an alien? No! Being green means turning the lights on in your home only when you need them. Eating foods grown locally or even from your own garden. Walking to the park instead of getting a ride in a car. Packing your lunch in containers you bring home every day. Enjoying your ice cream in a cone rather than in a paper cup with a plastic spoon. Picking up trash that isn't yours and putting it in the garbage. Putting bottles, cans, plastic, and paper into recycling bins. Using your food scraps to make fertilizer for your garden. Collecting rainwater instead of using a hose. Drawing on two sides of your paper instead of just one. Giving the clothes you've outgrown to someone smaller than you. Wearing your pajamas one more time before washing them. Turning off the water while you brush your teeth. Thinking of new ways to conserve. Reminding grown-ups to be green, too. Being green means doing whatever we can to protect the Earth's precious resources. It means understanding that each minute, 100 acres of rainforest are being cut down. One bus carries as many people as 40 cars. One third of the water used in most homes is flushed down the toilet. If all our newspaper were recycled, we could save about 250 million trees each year. That's a lot of trees. Recycling one glass bottle saves enough energy to light a 100 watt bulb for four hours. Your food travels an average of 1,500 miles to be on your plate. So, tell your friends what it means to be green. And spread the word. If we can all be green, we can save the world. If you liked this video and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. See you next time on Read Right Now.